first thing I want to ask, as uh, Robin was, had a very technical talk here, how many of you are technical people, like front-end developers, back-end developers, etc.? So that's like uh, quite a few people, great. How many of you are designers? Uh, and I mean graphical designers now, not UX designers. <laughs> okay, great, nobody. And and UX, UX guys? Okay, thank you. Uh, when Martin and Michal asked me to have this talk, um, I was thinking about how to approach this mixed audience, and I decided to share a few thoughts uh, about how how we share uh, how we share design and technical stuff during the process of creating a website. Um, uh, as as our field quite advanced in this in in, in this uh, approach, I believe uh, in the past few. Uh, few years uh, in the I, I think about five years ago still maybe even four our tools as uh, UX designers and people started with some um, wireframing tool maybe pen and pencil then we moved to extra or something like that uh, from then we made prototypes in it we tested this uh, drafts and, and models then we started uh, then we took the whole the work, put it to a graphic designer. He took a Photoshop, mostly Photoshop, no, not nothing actually else was used, and he started creating a lot and lot and lot of uh, graphical templates. I actually witnessed a project that when there was six uh, responsive versions of each uh, of each uh, page, and there were like I don't know fifty pages or so. So one small change. Uh, that the UX team decided after a few rounds of testing uh, made the graphic design will go completely mad as he had to redraw a lot of pages. So uh, fortunately I believe our our uh, uh, tools moved much further now and I want to I wanna talk about how we try to approach something. It's highly experimental, we do it, you don't have to just take whatever you want from this talk and maybe we can discuss it afterwards and also other stuff uh, so first first step after you have uh, analyzed the data talk to users etc I don't, I don't think we need to cover that today uh, our wireframes uh, we actually uh, in recent months came to conclusions that for a lot of things you can skip them uh, because you have tools right like uh, sketch we use sketch mostly who's familiar with sketch okay few people it's a basically a vector graphic editor we can do most of the things there anyway so uh, sketch has a lot of tools that were originally uh, found only in places like uh, Xture. so for example you can create symbols and symbol can be shared through uh, multiple pages etc so uh, for small projects we go from pen pencil to sketch and iterate in sketch uh, one great feature of sketch actually is uh, that it works pretty well with invision Do, who knows invision okay so invision is a web application uh, they are pretty huge they have uh, offices actually uh, in Prague, I'm not sure if someone's here from Invision team. Yeah, okay. Uh, so uh, Dan won't be super happy. Uh, anyway, uh, Invision is pretty good as you just uh, take your sketch file, drop it there, and it will uh, automatically preview all the pages. And you can start uh, uh, making a prototype there. So you can say, this is uh, something I want to click at. Uh, and it will take me somewhere else. It even can do some animation. So if you're using, you're, if you're doing a mobile app, it can be pretty smooth actually. And for uh, quick user testing, it's it's really fast. So that's great. Um, so you have you have a pen and pencil. You have Sketch. Uh, you test it with Invision, and then you're like, okay, this might work. Uh, let let's do it in code. Um, and that's probably the hardest part and the what I want to uh, talk the longest about here uh, as you need to share your all your 
thoughts and ideas and uh, thoughts about interactions and uh, small details which you might even not draw uh, with the developer. So you have uh, several options. We went in the last half year through several of them and um, I just want to share a few thoughts for each. First thing, InVision, which you already have the design there and maybe the prototype, uh, introduced something called um, InVision Code, uh, which is basically a web, web tool where you can inspect the design uh, uploaded by the, devil, uh, by the designer and uh, take some parts of code. Uh, it even shows you colors, typography, etc. Um, as I now only mostly manage projects and communicate with clients, so that's why I wear suit. Uh, uh, I actually asked uh, this uh, this past week my colleagues who uh, work with those tools what what are they saying, what what they like, what they don't like. So I'm gonna share their thoughts. Nobody's nobody's here, I think, from Mango Web. No, everyone's protesting and against Zeman and Babish. Uh, by the way, a huge crowd there. Great stuff. Um, anyway, so InVision code is pretty good for uh, like a super small stuff. If you have one, two, three pages, nothing super complex, and uh, you have a good designer that can actually, you can ask to, um, you can ask to click on all images and make make them exportable. Then InVision code might work for you. Good thing is that you don't need any other app. If you have something more complex uh, and with more complex sketch file, uh, the InVision code starts to get a bit messy. You can't export all the stuff there. Some 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 stuff are hard to measure there. So I would recommend this for like a small designs or if you just need one tool and don't want to, want to worry about it. Uh, second uh, second choice can be Avocode. Who's familiar with Avocode? Check product. Uh, okay, a few people. Uh, it's a it's an application actually web based though you, you can have a uh, like a desktop version. Uh, uh, I think friends of ours most most of us know guys from Avocode uh, develop, developed it in Prague and you can uh, you can upload both Photoshop or sketch files into it and it will break it down to to all the symbols images typography etc etc. Uh, stuff that you need to export, use, measure, um, and so on. Our code is pretty great actually when you get the files there. Uh, the I think the worst worst part of using our code is to uh, take the files and get them into our code. They they started as a Photoshop company actually. They started with creating Photoshop plugins, and our code works great with Photoshop. So if your designers are using Photoshop first tell him to stop using it and switch to something else very important uh, second if he doesn't want to whatever old guy knows only photoshop uh, then avoco is a great choice for you it, it will do almost any, everything uh, if you're using sketch there there are there were in the past year a lot of glitches we slowly are working with guys uh, to uh, take them away and they're they're very very good. They they uh, received a lot of feedback and they're working hard to make it better and better. Uh, though still the upload part is somehow not not the best. And uh, my graphic graphic guys guys are still hey you wanna uh, put you want want to take me this day and put it to to our code. Uh, can I can I put it just somewhere else? And uh, and one. One bad part is that into Avocode, the it has to be uploaded by the graphic designer, uh, so you just can't share the sketch files through the company <laughs> with, on Dropbox, and anyone else can drop it somewhere. So, but it's probably the, the best choice overall for for uh, larger web web stuff. Uh, third stuff looked pretty promising. It's a it's called Zeppelin. It's a small web web app. Uh, it works similar to InVision code. Actually, InVision code came after Zeppelin. So, and into Zeppelin, uh, your designer will upload the upload the design. And what's what's good is that then you get a link that you can share publicly uh, through the team, so you don't have to pay much. Uh, that's pretty pretty sweet. 
and it has mostly the same mostly the same functionality as InVision code. So you can inspect stuff, measure stuff, export something. Uh, though uh, both uh, both uh, InVision code and Zeppelin has problems with exporting for exa for example uh, more complex uh, vector icons. You just you just need to take a few objects, make make them into one group, and export them as one SVG file. Uh, so it's pretty hard actually to do both in Zeppelin and in Envision Code if the graphic designer didn't prepare this this for you, which uh, honestly no graphic designer ever will be, uh, will do, as they don't know what we need on the on the front end. So, but for for a few people sharing something might might be cool. Check it out. And uh, last thing that I think this this is gonna be a wave into the future. Uh, it's the, like a first, let's say, a bird. I don't know how to say it in English. Um, uh, Figma is a it's a it's a web design tool. It actually you can actually draw designs in Figma in your browser, um, and they implemented a function that you can import stuff from Sketch. And as we are using Sketch, I'm all for Sketch, so uh, we tried that. So your designer can draw in Sketch. You take the file, import it in Figma. And you you can just uh, continue drawing or start ex exporting uh, things. It works pretty good. Um, so, and I think uh, into the future, and uh, I'll get uh, into it uh, in a moment. Uh, the files that the graphic designers create will be more shareable throughout different kinds of applications and sketches. Uh, made a big move towards that like half a year ago, and I'm going to talk about it. Uh, first thing is that Sketch itself has some cloud that you can uh, sh you can use to share images with your clients or colleagues. And uh, the big big thing I, I mentioned is that they actually introduced a JSON uh, open source format for their uh, for their graphic files. So uh, every new graphic application that comes to market can actually pretty easily without any uh, hard uh, exploring the code uh, can make their their graphic uh, graphic design compatible. They can even export it for for Sketch or even use the same format. Uh, this this was the hardest for Photoshop as the it's uh, completely closed. So when uh, guys from our code tried to uh, recreate the design basic basically from the Photoshop file, it it really took them like a year or so to make it happen. So Sketch just made their format open and I think it's something that uh, will move the whole industry forward as uh, after more and more designers uh, will start using, I believe we will we will see tools that just take the take the file and will start exporting the, the complete code. Uh, and for some cases, for example, simple AMP uh, website, it could probably be done pretty easily in a few days in, in, in some, in some uh, programming. So that, that's about sharing the, the graphic. Uh, the, and then comes the even hardest part. As the designer thinks about his app um, or the website, he already imagines how it will move. You know, we will click the button and it will do something slide down whatever and most of the in my experience there are actually most like two types of tips one is very divided graphic designers are in one room front end developers in other uh, they don't talk much to each other and so the graphic designer creates it then writes some documentation and uh, front end guys try to recreate it or create their own animation then there are teams that graphic designers think something, um, and no, he doesn't tell anyone uh, what animations he would like to use. And front-end designer uh, or front-end developer comes in and he just thought thinks out some animations that are cool. He thinks it's cool, and he will use them. Um, and I think that uh, actually no, almost nobody actually moved somewhere that it may make sense and we're, we're struggling with it also though guys are talking daily 
uh, in the office as we have we have one small office so they meet other uh, each other all the time uh, you have several options first one we explore explored our timeline in sketch so you have a sketch file you just create all the different sta states and under it draw timelines it's super time consuming for for the graphic designer uh, and though it works pretty good for the clients as they know what they're approving and they can imagine it pretty well uh, and it's pretty good for the gra for the developers as they know their steps in the animation uh, but time consuming another uh, thing that, that we tried is making a video so actually graphic designers like making a video it's a change in their routine so they they're creating videos uh, of animations, how it should move, etc. Especially in, I, I believe, in mobile development, it's popular. Though uh, my colleagues who who then uh, try to do the animation in code and they're looking at the video are super annoyed by videos, as they say, "Hey, I have to time everything. I have to see the video like hundred times." Uh, they much prefer to use uh, timelines. Um, and then there are some tools, uh, so video, not so good. And there are some other tools that you can use to actually create like an animation already, and maybe the developer can use it. For example, Keyshape is a is a tool that where you can create SVG animations. Uh, so the graphic designer could do it, and the developer would just use it uh, with probably some optimization and stuff. Uh, but we don't have much experience with this yet. Just found it and want to try it on some. A uh, bigger project as these things to tend to take time. So if someone would have experience, I'm definitely keen to hear it. Uh, yeah, and that's it. Uh, one important thing that we learned uh, the hard way, mostly, is that uh, if you are an agency or even if you are an internal team, uh, a lot of project managers or product owners uh, try to take the complete stuff and show it to stakeholders as soon as possible you know because projects are always late so the, the time timing is crucial and everyone wants to be uh, on time um, and if you were as a project manager late you really want to show results to someone so they they are not so pissed as they are uh, at that moment i know it myself daily routine anyway it's a very good uh, idea and i think it's probably uh, crucial to show uh, the coded coded site or coded coded web to the designer that did it before you show it to anyone else because he will see just just at the first sight the three most important stuff you missed okay you completely screwed up the animations after login uh, you moved the logo 10 pixels down and it looks like crap and maybe and one other thing and if you fixed it fix it if it can take I don't know uh, two three hours something mostly it just doesn't take much time then it just just goes up uh, in like uh, dozens of percent uh, and you're, you're showing it to to your colleagues or to the client in a state where actually everyone's happy and uh, uh, the good good part also is that the designer isn't super pissed what you actually released to the public that you all completely screwed up the design and he's, he doesn't fill out the papers hey i'm not gonna go to the office tomorrow and mm -hmm. not ever after uh, designers are always hard to get uh, okay so that's it for me for now uh, i hope we can we can discuss it a bit further and i hope my english doesn't suck so much <laughs>